Well, continuing our coverage of storm damage, News 19 State Capitol reporter Maddie Beer Temple takes us to one of the hardest hit areas of the state. I'm here in Otaga County where you can just see all of the destruction behind me. Emergency management officials say they've never seen anything like this after a tornado tore through the area Thursday afternoon. Stephen Smith visited family here on County Road 140 before the storm Thursday. A day later, it's unrecognizable. Uh, this is home. I mean, it's, I, after the storm came through on yesterday and we couldn't see much on yesterday and I lost my brother in the storm and so we come out to severe the left the remains and it's just horrific. I never experienced anything like this in my life. Smith says his faith is helping his family get through the loss. You know we trust God we have faith in God you know and it's he never makes a mistake you know he always jests so we, we thank him. That area is one of many parts of the county hit by the tornado. EMA director Ernie Baggett confirmed seven deaths and at least a dozen injured, mostly occurring in the old Kingston area. He believes about 40 homes have been damaged beyond livability. I think we're getting to the point where we've we've located everyone and, and have been able to get a, a handle on where everybody is. So uh, that's why I think within the next maybe four or five hours, we should be able to shut that part of this down. Despite the destruction, Baggett says hundreds of first responders from across the state have come together to provide assistance. It's just what, what happens here in Alabama. That's the way it works. Uh, it's, this is not unusual. It, this is exactly how it, it always goes. Um, everybody comes together. It's a force multiplier. Now, for those who want to help, Director Baggett says that outside sources coming in right now as search and rescue efforts continue might not be the best situation, but they will be setting up volunteer reception centers between Elmore and Otaga County soon, and that would be the best place to turn. Reporting in Otaga County, Maddie Beer Temple, News 19.